Good afternoon, my fellow intellectuals. So today we're going to be I'm looking at a past paper coming from University of Zambia 2014 to 15 in tech KHY 1010 10. I don't know what they call it. Um <clears throat> to introduce myself, I'm David the Investor Data Boy. Or you might as well call me the A plus ambassador. So if you have any questions that are similar to these, you can um send them to 097 895 seven, nine, seven, on WhatsApp in a picture format and I can be able to attend to them and make a video like this one. Um so we are doing question it was question two question two was the one that was requested. Um so it states a bore at the end of a two point zero meter long string swings in an arc as shown below. The ball's speed is 3.5 meters per second as it passes through its lowest position. Um, Roman numeral one, to what height above this, this position will it rise before stopping? And then Roman numeral two, what angle does the string make with the vertical when the ball is at the highest position? So now um, we'll do what we, what we do in any kind of physics problem. We're going to draw the diagram that we can get some understanding of exactly what's happening and then from this same diagram we can <coughs> actually get some manipulations here and there so we are having it's moving like that it moves in that way and then we're having the distance this is it so this is a distance h this is the distance h then this is the length so now we can get our data so in any physics problem um do the drawing when necessary but always collect the data so we have um the length which is 2.0 meters and then also the speed we've been given the speed or the velocity this one is at um, the lowest position, so it's here. So the ball goes from here to there. So this is the initial um, velocity, initial speed. So we can put it as speed initial is 3.5 meters per second. And then here we have, it's coming to rest. So we have this speed here, although it's not stated in the question. We have the speed final. The speed final is equal to zero meters per second because it's coming to rest. So now then we can look at um we can look at Roman numeral Roman numeral one. And before we look at Roman numeral one, we have to understand this is um this is a pendulum, and then according to this one, we're finding h in Roman numeral one. So it's it's useful, it's quite useful to use the conservation of energy there. Because we are being given the velocity that we can find in the kinetic energy and the height that we can find in the potential energy. So that's how we know that we can use the conservation of energy because all the unknowns that we need um, are there. Of course, there are other methods, but then other methods will require us to have more data. But then the data that we have um, here is quite is quite less. So now we can we can start from number one. We, the law of conservation energy, by the way, states that um, the energy in a closed system is conserved. It cannot be destroyed, um, created, but can be changed from one form to another. So now, um, it's it's according to the law of conservation of energy. This this is the way to put it. Change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy is equal to zero. So now you can also there's also another way to put it where. They say kinetic energy final plus potential energy final is equal to potential energy initial plus kinetic energy initial. So this is the same as this because when these go this side, they will become um they will become negative and there will just be the change in that. And then this side will be having a zero. So you can use this one, you can use this one, you still find the same answer. So now um let's say the kinetic energy final. Minus the kinetic energy initial when this goes this side and then this this is the change in potential in kinetic energy rather plus um 
also the potential energy final minus the potential energy initial is equal to zero so now um we can we can put this in our equations knowing that potential energy is equal to mg h and then kinetic energy is equal to one over two mv squared so now here we are having one over two m v final squared we can't say mass final because the mass is the same throughout plus one over two m v initial squared plus um the potential energy final is um m g h minus m g h final minus m g h initial is equal to zero now the final the final speed we said is zero because this comes to the rest so this thing can be cancelled out if you want you can you can actually plug it in as a zero and then the height also we have here as our this as our lowest position so we can assume this is zero and then this is the height if we assume this is zero then this will be the edge so now assuming this is zero this will go out so now what we're going to end up having is if this goes out and um this goes um out also we're going to have negative two negative one over two rather squared plus m g h being equal to zero um then here now what we can do is we can now plug in the values we can plug in the values and find h or we can make h the subject of the formula and then plug in the values the best i would advise is um actually plugging not plugging in the values but then changing h to the subject of the formula because when you plug in the values here you can make a mistake anywhere and then you'll be wrong starting from here but then when you change the subject of the formula you find a symbolic answer you'll be correct all the way until the symbolic answer if you made wrong calculation and then you find that you only be wrong in your final answer and thus you get more marks in a question like this one which has um nine marks you might even get seven because we know for physics the answer is not only in the final answer but is also in the working so when you plug in the values you are going to do less of your working so now changing this on subject of formula we can take this the other side or well, we know we don't actually take the other side but we add what the same thing we add mvi squared plus mv um, i squared to both sides so at least it can become zero it can subtract and then we'll have that there but you can say we take it to the other side it's it's still correct math um m v i squared now um this might worry you because we don't have the mass but then we 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 see that the masses cancel here the masses are going to cancel because we have mass this side and mass that side another way to look at it is multiplying both sides by one over m and one over m what is going to happen is the m's are going to cancel so we are going to have gh being equal to one over two um v sorry the m has cancelled out vi squared then now we can um divide both sides by g by gravity so we're going to have h gravity there will cancel will be equal to um v squared over 2g this v is initial so this is our symbolic answer you can even write it as a symbolic answer in that when you plug in the values you are going to get the answer so now we have our h being equal to our velocity 3.5 we just get it from our data that we collected that's why it's always important to get your data to so gravity is 9.8 mm -hmm. and then we we can now get our calculator where is, where is my calculator um just a minute huh. yeah so now we get our calculator then we plug in values 3.5 to the power 2 um that's 12.5 divided by 2 times 9.8 is um 19.6 yeah 19.6 so as we find our answer being that our h will be equal to 0 0.625 meters and that's it for this question roman numero one we can go to um roman numero two roman numero two we can we can put this aside Although we'll be referring to it, but then we can 
we can get this as where where we do the rest of the working so now in the second one we are being told to find what angle the string makes with the vertical so now um allow me to use this this one again we use our diagram so we're having this theta here and then we're told to find this theta now um i want you to understand one thing we have found the h and then this side this this side what you have to understand is when we find this side it will be easier for us now this length is the same as this length so this is l because the length of the pendulum doesn't actually change it's the same it's not that when the string goes this side it changes as many have the misconception but then this is l so now if this is l this here what must it be this must be l minus h then we'll find this one so that when we add these together l minus h plus h we're going to find the l so now we are having something like um allow me to redraw it mm, yeah there that's our angle then we have that then we have our h so this this right here ladies and gentlemen will be l minus h so that when we add h here we're going to find the l which is this one so now we have um we have two things here we have our length we have our height we want to find our theta when you look at this when you when you actually do this this looks like a triangle and then it's it's here at here it's 90 degrees so um this triangle looks like this when you draw it when you're when you're doing your working if this if this type of question ever comes an exam you can draw this triangle so that you can show to say um i know what i'm talking about then this will be l minus h so using sokatoa using sokatoa we are going to find that um here we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse so now we can use um cos so i'm saying cos theta is equal to the adjacent the adjacent is l minus h over um the hypotenuse is just l so now um we can take the cos inverse of both sides so that this the, the cos can cancel here we can have theta being equal to the cos inverse of l minus h over h i think this what has happened here is just simple math if you don't understand this um go and re revise on trigonometry it can't be simplified further so now we have our cos inverse of um the length remember it's two um two minus the h is 0 0.6 the h this one 0 0.625 over 0 0.625 now um we can now compute this in our calculator and remember this was our symbolic answer for the for the theta 2 minus 0 0.625 um all of this divided by 0 0.625 um this we are going to multiply it this is is the math correct really um so we are having um 0 0.2 minus 0 0.625 divided by 0 0.625 oh yeah oh yeah um our this, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be l sorry our hypotenuse is l so our hypotenuse is um l not h this is l the l that's there sorry i made the mistake when writing the l so this is supposed to be two actually it's supposed to be two sorry sorry so having a horse inverse of two minus um 0 0.625 over two yeah so we have our theta so we have our 2 minus um 0 0.625 divided by 2 then we have um the cos inverse of the answer then we find our uh, theta being equal to 46.57 um, 
um, degrees. So this is our theta. Now remember the L there. The L was this one. We created our triangle and then we used um, the Sokatoa. And then we found now our theta. This question is very, very simple and straightforward. Just um, do just trigonometry and conservation of mechanical energy. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for more questions. And then if you have any questions, you can um, send the question to, to this number. This number it's on whatsapp you can just send the picture and then it will be solved in um picture question just like this so um subscribe share um tell your friends about this that um the a plus ambassador the investor data boy david banda is solving tutorial sheets um for me it's bye bye and stay safe